it's really great to see how dialed in this course is with its time limit. I think that that just shows a lot of, of smartness on the course designer's part to have a course just so locked in with giving you exactly the right amount of time. Speaking of exactly the right amount of time, exactly one minute for Nico Zandona here. Nico's got quite a resume. He was second place in the NCL League in 2022, just behind uh, Casey McLaren, an athlete we mentioned earlier. And look at the efficiency. Really huge launch into the Lachey lane. Definitely the fastest we've seen to this point. Nico also training out of Fighting Lions. Got to be proud of that Fighting Lions team getting two athletes in the top 10, showing up for the Premier Series right now. We saw his teammate Benjamin get a buzzer, and it looks like Nico is going to slash that time and take the number one spot by 15 whole seconds, 45 seconds flat. That was a great run out of Nico. I really love how efficient he was through the Lachey lane. These are moves that he's are throwing are, are, are ones that you would see out of some of the mature kids in the U.S. as well. So we're, we're closing in on that experience, closing in on, on that competitiveness, which is really, really phenomenal to see. But that might not be enough with Nico Zandona coming up on the course. Second place in the first youth championship of the Ninja Challenge League last year. Nico is wow. flying. Cruising. The first, you, you barely knew there was a separation in the first three obstacles. He strung them all together, made it all look like one. Very quick obstacle transitions. Easy work on that dismount. I think we're looking at one of the fastest times. A little rushing here, you know, as he just misgrabbed the bar on the rolling wheel. But settling back into his pace, definitely the fastest to this point we've seen so far. Beating this obstacle is going to put him in the top three. Guarantee his spot in the finals. And there it is, Nico Zandona taking the top four. But now, with only 50 seconds having passed, Nico could absolutely get the fastest time. He's just got to be efficient on the fish hooks. Yeah, and, and struggling just as the other athletes did with the release and placement, although that was a super smooth transition. Final move okay here. Now. Yeah, he's definitely he hanging. hanging. And there we have it, our fastest time to this point. One minute, four, one minute, 13 seconds. The fastest we've seen all day, beating second place by 47 whole seconds. And we can see why with that speed. That was intense speed. I also just love that he watched every athlete before him, took some of their beta. Now on the cliffs and, and cannonballs, he did use that split grip, but he didn't really need it. You saw on the other one, he just grabbed the T-ledge. Super strong athlete. Definitely a athlete that we are going to want to watch. That efficiency is going to do very well for him in the finals at Ferox this season.